In this video, I will be going over our land scrubbing feature and how to use data tree data and get it scrubbed for landlocked properties. So the new land scrubbing feature is an AI technology feature, which is designed to go through your data set and remove any landlocked properties. So our AI feature identifies landlocked properties and tells you which properties are landlocked and gives you a visual representation of those landlocked properties. So in this video, I'll be going over how to export with data tree and get your data set scrubbed. Now keep in mind, we are not 100% accurate with this feature. There's a lot that goes into it and it's not 100% accurate yet. So we've put a lower price point on it of two cents per record to scrub through your data. And you'll realize this is a much better strategy than scrubbing your data inside data tree and land vision because it's a much better user interface. So in this video, I'll go through how you can remove landlocked properties, check how accurate it is, and also remove any properties that might have other features that you don't like, like for example, a, a house on it that you want to remove from your data set. So without further ado, let's jump into it and open data tree. But first let's choose our market. So uh, we're going to go after zip code 30222 for this example. So in data tree, I've already filled out our advanced search. So we're in the state of Georgia. Zip code is 30222. Living area square foot is 0 to 200 acres because that shows us the most vacant land. And then we're pulling 5 to 100 acres. And the mailing state is out of county owners. So this is our filters to get out of county owners. So these are people that live outside the county that own land inside this zip code. So to click to, to export your data, you'll click export. Um, I've already exported the data, but let me show you how you would. Make sure you have all the sections, all the generic sections that data tree gives you because we're going to need a handful of them. Name your data set and you don't need to remove duplicates because we do that for free. And then you would click order, but I've already ordered it. I have my data set right here. So I'm going to add this to Land Insights. So we'll go to Land Scrubbing, start a new search, and we will upload by dragging our file in here. We'll click Next. And Land Insights will automatically find the columns and match them already. But please make sure it's correct before moving on. So. APN column is APN here. We've identified first name, but if this wasn't first name, let's say it was last name, you need to make sure it's the first name. We've already identified it. There's our last name. Latitude, longitude, make sure those are correct. And lot acreage is the lot size. So here's a preview showing our APNs, our first names, our last names, our latitude, our longitude, and acreage. And a blank in first name is fine. Uh, as long as we have the last name there, which is already done by data tree and land vision. So everything looks good. We'll click next. Scrub duplicates. You can choose yes or no. It's free. And then scrub landlock two cents per row. Click next. When removing duplicates, do you prefer the large parcel or the small parcel? I always choose larger. I'd rather have, I'd rather mail a 100 acre if an owner owns both a five acre and a hundred acre i'd rather go after the larger one so larger but you can choose small if you'd like okay so for 239 records it's showing us four dollars and 78 cents to scrub it okay looks good and to see the progress you'll click refresh and you'll see that it's already eight percent complete so I'm going to pause the video and return once it is complete. Okay, our data set is now complete. As you can see, the, one, the progress is 100%. So we can go ahead and view our data set. And it's going to show us visual representations of all the properties that we've gone after. Now, if you look here at the results, you can view different situations. So if you want to look at only the stuff that was marked landlocked, you can click here and it's going to show you only the stuff that was landlocked. So as you can see here, the property was marked landlocked, but it appears there's an easemented driveway. 
So you can make a decision here whether or not you want to mail this. It's going to cost money to build the driveway. So I personally wouldn't go after this. So I'm going to mark it as landlocked and go to the next. And you also see 42 results were landlocked out of our initial uh, data set, which is 139. Okay. So this is that one we were looking at. This is clearly landlocked. We'll move on. This is just an odd shape to me. I'm personally going to mark it as landlocked so we don't go after it. So it's already marked as landlocked, so we'll move on. Uh, this one looks good to me. I'm going to mark it as accessible. Looks like this one was marked landlocked because this easement here is for a railroad. There's actually no road to access it. So I'm going to leave it as landlocked. I'm going to leave this as landlocked because it's so skinny. This looks like it's accessible. I'm going to mark it as accessible. Obviously, this one's landlocked. This one's too skinny like the others. This one's landlocked because there's no easement at driveway. So we'll keep it. And this one looks good. So I'm going to mark it as accessible. This one's landlocked for sure. This one's landlocked. That is a very long driveway. Let's see if it's built. It's not built. So I'm going to mark this as landlocked. So we'll leave it as is. I don't want to deal with this. That appears to be a road. So this looks good to me. We'll mark it as accessible. This looks landlocked to me. Leave it. This is landlocked. We'll leave it. This is accessible. That's landlocked. I'm going to leave it as landlocked because it's too skinny. I'm going to... Uh, I'll mark this as accessible. It's skinny, but it looks like it's wide enough to build a home. This is landlocked. This is accessible. This is accessible. Landlocked. 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 This is accessible. That is landlocked. That is landlocked. That is landlocked. This is accessible. That is landlocked. That is landlocked. This is accessible. This is accessible. There's two roadways. Looks like it's accessible. There's road right there. Market is accessible. This is accessible. That's accessible. That's accessible. That's accessible. Now we can look at all or only road access and we can go through these results too and, and check them if we want to. So these are showing only the road access. So that looks good, but if there's like a house or something in your data set, then you can remove it. That's good. That's good. And this is something you can give to your VAs and they can just briefly go over it. It's just so much easier than the process with Land Vision and Data Tree. We can just zoom through, through these, but if anything looks odd to me, we can remove it. Okay, that looks like it's landlocked. It is landlocked. That's good. It's just easy to zoom through everything. There, that looks like it might be landlocked. Maybe there was a road that it picked up. That looks definitely landlocked to me. This is just an ugly shape. I'm going to remove that by marking it as landlocked. Might have been a house on that one. Uh, it looks like maybe a little shed. I'm going to mark that as landlocked. That is another ugly shape. I'm just going to remove it. It's fine. Okay, it looks like there's a house right there. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So you can use this to just remove anything like a house or trash or anything on the property that you don't want in addition to the landlocked stuff. And to export your results, if you wanted only the ones you marked as road access and not the ones marked as landlocked, you'll click only road access. There's all your results. And you will download only clean results. So as you can see here, we have 209 results that were marked as clean. But you can also remove the entire data set and it'll show you if it was landlocked or not in there. So up to you. I prefer downloading the clean results. And we're going to see the 209 like I mentioned here. So it should be 210 rows. 211. Yep, yep it's going to show landlocked marked as false. And this is just 
the entire data set that you pulled in from data tree and or land vision so you can go ahead and price the data from here so let's say you wanted to go after this zip code and you went through and scrubbed all the data next thing you need to do is price it now if you wanted to look at the entire data set you could download the entire data set and it's going to be a much larger file and forgot to mention you can like filter it if you want and there's your true and false for landlocked so you can look at all the ones that were marked as landlocked if you want and you can like delete those from the data set if you ended up with this one but that's it all your results are saved so if you marked a bunch as landlocked sorry if you went to only landlocked you'll see 31 here and let's say you remove another or mark it as accessible you have 30 results here if you leave it's going to still show that work so you can view and review only landlocked as you can see it's 30 so this always saves you don't have to do it all at once you can do some of it and then return to it later and the same process goes for land vision you just have to export the data but with land vision make sure you are including all the data that land vision gives you so we need these data points owner first name last name and we need uh, latitude and longitude we need the APN, the county, and the acreage. All right, so that's land scrubbing. Thank you.